No contact with a narcissist. Why do it? Let's talk about no contact. My name is Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you with everything related to understanding and healing from narcissists in your life. Let's get started with no contact. Why do it? It has nothing to do with the narcissist, you guys. It has to do with you. It has to do with taking care of yourself and healing from the toxic things this person has done. And it is very challenging to do so when they are still in your life or in your awareness. So let's talk about what no contact is. No contact is literally no contact. It's no looking, it's no spying on them, no keeping tabs of them. It's no contacting them, no replying to them. It's no thinking about them at a certain point, right? It is eliminating them from your life as if they were something you saw once and walked away from and you go, oh yeah, them. It's learning to become indifferent to the narcissistic person. Holding on to a lot of the pain and hurt that they caused in your life is totally understandable. And it is also something to work toward freeing yourself from so that you can move forward in your life because the whole point in all of this at this point is transforming your life into what you want it to be. Transforming yourself and your life toward the life you want to live. It isn't about staying in the past and hanging on to the horrible things these people have done to you and the horrible thoughts they've placed in your head that you have now about yourself. Okay, so no contact is really important for that if you can. If you can't and low contact is your only option, there are videos for low contact and I will keep making more. And if you have any questions about low contact, put them in the main comments, okay? Because I'll answer them there or I'll make videos based off of your questions. Thing is, you might think you can stay friends with them. You might think it's okay to have them peppered into your life a little bit. You might think you can change the nature of the relationship and be like you were with all your other exes. You might think that you can manage it down with a narcissistic parent, right? And some people are just so toxic. Many narcissistic people, if they are truly narcissistic, are so toxic to your life that that is not possible. Because why? Because they don't take accountability and they don't respect boundaries. The thing is, a narcissistic person will not allow your boundaries to stay in place. They will continually push them. So you can set a boundary of certain topics you talk about or ways of managing things with them, and they will continue to push it. If you're prepared to deal with that, then by all means, maybe low contact can work for you, right? But if it puts you into a spiral and it gets you thinking about the things you think about yourself because of them, if it makes your programming that they put in your head re-engage with all these thoughts that you have about yourself that are not positive. If it sends you down a path of a constricted life where you believe the judgments that were placed on you from that toxic relationship, then no contact may be what you need to do. Letting go of the need for closure is kind of important here. You guys, you're not going to get closure from a narcissist. It's not going to happen. Well, okay. It's maybe 99% not going to happen. It could happen once in a while. Sure. Do you want to risk that? Do you want to spend your precious time and your healing energy on trying to get closure from someone who won't take accountability or who gives you fake apologies or who is using the closure time that people spend at the end of relationships for hoovering instead? Who's going to use anything you do that feels like closure to suck you back in and then do the same exact thing or worse to you now that you've taken them back, right? Do you want to spend your time chasing something that is in the hands of someone else? Or do you want to take control of your future and your life and learn to let go of this need for closure from the toxic person? I have videos on closure. I will link them. Closure is important for some people, okay? And there's ways of getting closure on your own without the toxic person involved. Okay, don't fall for the flying monkeys. Do not fall for it. If you know someone knows that narcissist, assume the information will get back to them. That doesn't mean you have to cut all your friends out of your life. What it means is you have to be discerning about what you talk about. You have to know that anything you say could get back to them and you have to not care. Okay, so if you do care, limit what you say for a while. You don't have to do this forever. This is the, the no contact period. Once you're no contact, like I'm so no contact that if I saw my ex narcissist, I wouldn't care. And if, if they tried to hoover me back in for any reason, for any, anything in their, in life, right? For anything, it wouldn't work because I have no interest. I have no interest in knowing them as a human being. I don't respect them as a human being. So you see, once you can get to that point, really doesn't matter. But until then, 
just limit yourself or maybe you get till you get close to that limit the things you tell people that you know are directly related or or in contact with that narcissist because people unknowingly try to fix things people un do not understand narcissism they do not some people think it's just a thing we call people all right they do not understand it they don't understand the toxic manipulation. They don't understand what it is to heal from it. And in their ignorance of that and in their innocence, sometimes they will try to patch things up. They will try to make it so that things aren't so bad. Right. And they will involve that toxic person. And so there's a lot of people who aren't doing it intentionally, but it can hurt you because then it slows your healing and then it drags you back in and then you've got another person you can't trust so just keep it to healing communities talk to a therapist or a coach or someone you can trust that isn't going to get the information back to that toxic person don't break no contact to reinforce no contact okay if you're no contact and they contact you don't break the no contact and say hey don't contact me don't break the no contact and say what do you want i told you not to talk to me just don't talk to them just stick with the no contact. This is a hard one because there's that overwhelming urge to respond, right? And there's the, the injustice of it all. And there's the wanting them to take accountability and wanting them to hear the things they did and the way they hurt you. But guess what? They don't care. They truly don't care. The only thing they care about is how it looks on the outside, how it looks to other people. Let it go. Do not break no contact to reinforce no contact unless here's the here's the caveat right unless there's a protective order and you need somebody to do it for you if that's the case you contact the authorities and you let them handle the enforcement of the no contact so don't look at their social media at all don't look i know there's situations where you have to okay i know there's situations where stalking happens and where keeping tabs of them is important for your safety for the most part for many many people it's unnecessary to look. Don't look. Stop looking at their new supply. Stop hunting down who their new supply is and who they are and what they look like and what they're doing. Stop looking. You're hurting yourself. It's not hurting anyone but you, okay? And it isn't helping you in any way. To see that they have new supply, well, yeah, they're narcissists, right? They're going to. This is what they do. They can't be alone. And they need to, once they have a breakup, and once they have any form of narcissistic injury, they need to reinforce the delusion of who they are, right? They need to reinforce it through someone else because they can't reinforce for themselves who they are because they're not really who they are. So they need their delusion of who they believe they are reinforced by the new supply. It's what it's about, you guys. It's about supply. It isn't about anyone being better than you, prettier than you, more handsome than you, kinder than you, friendlier than you, a better person than you. All it's about is a different form a new person who is brand new fresh supply that they can start all over with the same cycle stop looking at social media stop thinking that they changed they haven't changed i've just explained they haven't changed they can't change they won't change okay let me rephrase that they may change in the way that they could get more covert they learn new things they mimic they mirror and yeah they change like that but they have not become a better person it will look like that sometimes. It will look so like, it will look like they got their whole life together and they are the person you always wanted them to be. They do that on purpose, you guys, because that's the only way they can attract the kind of supply they want in their life, right? They're gonna form themselves and make themselves into what they think will attract the type of supply that they want in their life. That's it, they're not a changed person. If they come at you with a bunch of change and I'm sorry, my only question to that is why now? Why now? Mm -hmm. You know what? Don't ask them that. But really, that's what goes on in my head when I hear that. Oh, right. Right now. Now you do this after all the years you've had to try and or how old it months or whatever it is. So stop thinking that they've changed. Narcissistic people don't make that big of a change. Think about how hard it is for yourself to change a small habit. OK, it's pretty hard. And we do make change. We make transformation. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes going through this struggling that you're doing right now to get there. Okay. Narcissists are willing to do that. Don't fixate on the why of what they've done. Understand what narcissism is. Understand how toxic behavior happens. Understand how cluster B personalities work. Okay. Sure. Understand them. 
But once you understand them, allow it to be true. Allow it to be who that person was, whether you're right or wrong, they were toxic to you. Whether they are a narcissist or they just have narcissistic traits, it doesn't matter. They were toxic to you in such a way that you couldn't live with it, that you were basically crumbling underneath it, okay? Let that go. Stop worrying about why a person could treat a person that way. How could they do that? How could a person, people say this a lot to me, they're very sensitive and loving people and they think, how could somebody hurt another human being like that? Just look at the traits of narcissism. I have two answers, no empathy or very low empathy and lack of accountability. That's how, that is literally the how and the why, okay? So stop perseverating on it. Stop just like holding on to that why. Don't go it alone, okay? Find support. There are peer support groups, there's coaching, there's therapy, there's all kinds of support out there. Even if you only use it for a short time, even if it's one call, some people call me for one, one time because they need to get it out. They need to the validation and then they can go on their way and find some other support or, or do it, you know, whatever it is, find that support. It could be anyone that you can trust to hear your story and reflect back to you so that you feel validated or you feel whatever it is you need in the situation going this alone is very difficult okay if you need to do it alone use every piece of information you can to help yourself okay you guys if you are no contact stay there if you're struggling to decide to be no contact there is light on the other side okay once you get through it and you break these trauma bonds not caring about that narcissistic person and seeing them as just another human in this world is such a relief it's so much freedom so hang in there. I know this is a difficult time. If you're going no contact, I know this is a struggle. You just hang in there, okay? If you need anything, you can find me in the main description of every video. My name is Lise Colucci. I will be back next time. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.